Hey Sagittarius, how are you? It's me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. Sag, as always, these readings are timeless, so when you get here is when you get here. But if this reading is a blessing to you, I do ask that you like, share, and subscribe because it's very helpful to me, to be honest. Um, Sag, my first instinct this week is to tell you to stay calm. Whatever it is you got to do to like keep yourself in like a happy, calm place, you should do that because it feels like you're in the middle of doing something. It feels like it's like a big change. You're taking on more responsibility. Maybe it's a move. It's a level up. It's a, you're doing something and it's something that needs you to like stay on target. You need to stay focused. You need to stay on track, but there are these little things popping up, Sag. I sense it in my spirit. There are these little things popping up and they are intentionally trying to irritate you. It could be an actual person. It could be like a weird energy coming in, trying to trying to throw you off track. But it's something that feels like it's really trying to get you like out of pocket, out of character. It's really trying to trip you up. So in order for you to stay focused on what you're doing, you need to remain calm. So I don't know what that means for you. Maybe you need to meditate. I don't know what you need to do, Sag. You can read between the lines, but you need to stay calm, right? Very good. So I want to pray and then I, I want to start pulling out some cards for you and get near your shuffle, man, and see. Very good? Very good. Father God, thank you for bringing me in Sagittarius in today. I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for Sag's highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you, we love you, we thank and honor you always to the utmost high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Sag. Woo, it's smoky. I have the incense going. It's like so smoky in here, right? Maybe that's what it is. It's like, what's that saying? Like, you want to catch this smoke? Like, someone's trying to, someone's really trying to catch your smoke, Sag, but you're not, you're not really having it. Um, and I was, uh, I was doing your shuffle, Mancy, and uh, the, the Teskley brothers came out and, um, Okay, all right, there's a lot happening here. These all fell over. Um, and the Tesla Brothers came out and they have this song called Shiny Moon. It's really cool. And uh, it, you know, the lyrics are pretty simple. Shiny moon, gonna help me carry my load. Shiny moon, gonna help me when I'm feeling low. And it is, it's that energy of like, just stay calm, like look up to God, like look up to the universe, look at that big shiny moon and just know like, it's gonna, it's gonna take care of it. Don't, don't overly concern yourself with petty problems and and you know little things like that just big picture big shiny moon like eyes on the prize Sag because I, I I pulled the writer weight out for you and a card flew out at the bottom of the deck and it's the ten of wands in reverse right it's like releasing those burdens just like that you know I honestly it's so funny for me Sag I saw this this meditation on Twitter. It was a TikTok and it was this girl and she was doing this like releasing stress and anxiety meditation and she's just like fuck it. <laughs> it's like not my problem. Like it is just so funny and it feels like that's a little bit of like what you're doing. You're like not my problem. I don't care. Like I'm gonna do me, like I'm gonna stay focused. And then there's this one little card poking up at the top of the deck and I looked at it and it's the 10 of cups. Like these are two very different tens. And honestly, sometimes the biggest difference between these two is just a perspective change. Just being like, not my problem. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna stay focused, eyes on the prize, right? It's like big shiny moon. I'm gonna look at the sun. Like I'm alive, I'm well, my, my family's healthy. I have better days ahead of me, right? Because the Ten of Cups can be like love and marriage and the happy family, but the Ten of Cups is also like a state of mind. It's like all my cups are full. They're not half full. They're not half empty. They full full all, all day, every day. Like, look, they're like presenting. They're like, look at the word, the day the Lord has made. Look at this shit. This is amazing. I'm amazing. I'm a Sagittarius, right? It's like having to do that a little bit. Um, but you might need some help though. I don't know. You gotta, you gotta take that up with you and you and the Lord, Sag. Mm -hmm. So you have the dragon card that comes out. This is the eye of God. This is the wild unknown spirit animal oracle deck, by the way. Um, mm, mm, I understand. 
Mm, mm. Okay, okay. Well, I'm getting too far ahead of myself. I'm sorry, Seth. All right, so this is the eye of God keeping an eye on you. And then you have the wolf out in reverse. Now, for those of you that are familiar with me in this deck, this is like my emperor card. Now, the emperor, when it comes out in reverse, this is Aries energy. We also just, I believe, are passing through uh, Venus in Aries right? Um, so it's almost like fighting for the things that you love because Aries is Mars energy. Mars is the god of war. And Venus is harmony and love and beauty and like all the stuff. So it's like really having to fight through any of these annoyances, Sag. Really having to fight through any of these little hiccups, any of these things that are trying to piss you off or like knock you off track or, or make you deter your focus like from what you're doing. Having to fight to stay in this Venusian energy, to stay in your ten of cups to stay in peace love and harmony and god is one watching you try and maintain this balance because the reason some of this stuff is even allowed to come near us it's to kind of test our resilience our dedication our balance right um it's almost like you, you never know who said it, eleanor roosevelt you never know how strong a woman is until you put her in hot water it's a little bit like that right it's kind of teaching you to like stick in stick and jab a little bit like this but the emperor in reverse is also an energy that can be very domineering right it just like does not let up so like i said earlier this could be an actual person or this could be one of those spiritual ener energies that come in and really just try and like mess with you and god is keeping an eye on it right this this is an energy that's going to get like super out of control for you but um it is something to be mindful of. It is intentional. It's an intentional energy. If this is an actual person, Sag, this could be someone that maybe doesn't want to see you doing better than they are or doesn't want to see you moving forward with your life. If it's, you know, a, a spiritual energy of such, we know that that's a thing and we deal with that, right? It wants to keep you from your promises. So this is God kind of watching you maintain your balance, watching you kind of stand strong without allowing it to harden you because the octopus is very much of like an eight of swords card it's like this wrapping around it's like this energy with all of its tentacles is trying to like wrap around you get you in your feelings get you all upset get you all distracted it's that sort of energy but the gazelle tells me that you are leaping you are bounding you are prancing your little ass off like extremely gracefully because that's what the gazelle does the gazelle is theoretically like a prey animal right like a lion or a tiger or a bear oh my it's something that would prey on a gazelle but the gazelle moves so fast but despite how quickly it moves through these obstacles despite the heat on it of this big sun they are graceful which means that the the calmer you maintain your center right the calmer that you stay through this you're you're making your way through these little cycles you're making your way through these obstacles really quickly but you're also doing with a lot of grace and i think that part of that grace is whatever it is that you're doing to allow yourself to stay calm because the second that you get in your feelings the second that you let yourself get upset the second you kind of go into that then all of a sudden you get frazzled and you don't want to get frazzled you just want to be like i don't give a shit i don't care <laughs> just keep keep it moving keep it moving and the camel in reverse tells me that in order to do this this is pulling out your reserves because the camel much like the bear energy it um goes and it gets reserves supplies lessons wisdom um strength energy all that stuff and in reverse it's saying that you're pulling out these skills that you have the knowledge that you have of last time you were about to have a come up or you're about to embark on a new adventure do a move, have a level up, whatever it is for you that you're working on that you need to stay focused on, this new leg of your journey, this is you remembering. You know what, the last time I was here, some silly shit like this happened too, and I remember what I had to do. I remember what I had to learn. This is you pulling out your energy. This is you pulling out your self-soothing techniques. This is you pulling out your ability to maintain balance. This is your ability to maintain faith in God and a benevolent universe, looking at that big shiny moon. Like, this is you also remembering what's in front of you like what it's all for what it's all for it's that idea of almost instead of getting letting these things upset you kind of going wow if i'm reaching this much resistance if i'm having this big of a problem i must be on to something really good if these people or if this energy really wants to stop me that bad god must have something really good for me in the works it's that such, such kind of energy again it's this is a perspective change you know, it's like sometimes we hit obstacles, we hit 
all of these things and and they can make us feel really disheartened and go oh if it's this hard if it's so much of a problem like maybe this isn't for me bullshit no it's that perspective change into the ten of cups it goes no you know if i'm hitting this much resistance if i'm having this much interference if these people don't want me to have it so bad it must be because it's really really good because it is the ten of cups it is going to emotionally fill me not half empty not half full 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 and like I said, there's a fish in reverse. Fish talks about flow, talks about abundance. It talks about monetary blessings. Fish also represent Pisces, which in the traditional tarot represents the high priestess from your intuition as well. Again, part of what this energy is, is trying to make you second guess your intuition, what you know. It's retrograde season, y'all. You will be seeing signs and synchronicities for a bunch of stuff that you got no business participating in because that's what retrograde does. So right now is the time to almost be a critical thinker when it comes to your synchronicities. Listen to that inner voice. Listen, go to your people, your people, right? Your ancestors, your angels, God, Jesus, all your party peoples. You go to them, you talk to your inner voice because during retrograde season, you will see 22 and that person's name and a sign for this and a sign of that but because retrograde is flipped they're actually signs for you to not do that thing a lot of the time now in a couple of weeks when we move out of that they'll flip back to to this normal thing but this is something to be like really mindful of so this is again this is an energy that wants to come in and it makes you feel all tied up make you second guess your intuition wants to get you out of character out of pocket make you unfocused so that way you don't reach the flow right it's almost like what was what, that a movie hustle and flow it's like you're just trying to hustle and they're trying to disrupt your flow but you need to just look at that big shiny moon and just just keep moving because it's trying to to trip you up so you don't get the things that you've been working so hard for and the cheetah underneath that tells me that it's coming like i want to they, they're saying payday like payday is coming like the the breakthrough is coming the the open door the miracle, the blessing, it's coming because the cheetah talks about quick opportunities coming to you. And these are like time sensitive. Not everything that comes to you is time sensitive. Some things you can sit and you can mull over them. And no, cheetah is like strike while the iron's hot, baby. And this is what's coming in for you. And the bee underneath that, the bees, lets me know that this opportunity is sweet and it's pollinating. That means that it doesn't just happen in one thing one spot it, it's something that can be cross-pollinated it can be carried to different locations it's something that expands and it's something that though you do individually because that's the beautiful thing about the ecosystem of bees is that they work independently they don't get marching orders necessarily it's not like um the queen bee gives them a to-do list they go out independently and they work but the work that they do individually benefits the hive the whole the community right it's very robin hood all for one and one for all and so when this opportunity strikes which it will it is coming you need to be ready and the way to be ready is to stay on target to stay on task to stay focused so like i said whatever it is that you have to do to like stay calm within reason they want me to specify within reason don't be doing nothing super crazy sagittarius I'm not co-signing super crazy behavior, but whatever it is you need to, I don't know, a little CBD, I don't know, figure it out. But the mouse in reverse tells me that again, this is an opportunity that is going to be very fortuitous for you and eventually as it expands outward for the whole. And it has to, to do with the big picture because the mouse upright talks about details the tiny, tiny details, which again, the devil's in the details, like these little hiccups, these little annoyance things. It's like these little gnats, these little things that just want to come in and just like piss you off, right? So then you're just like, oh, I don't want to do anything today. Nope. Big picture thinking for you because the dolphin is underneath that as well. And this talks about positive karmic relationships. Karma exists. There's good karma. There's bad karma. There's karma chameleons. There's all kinds of karma, but this is positive karmic relationships. Positive. This is like a six of cups card. This is soulmate energy, right? There's also an energy of don't settle. Whatever it is that you're doing, don't settle for anything less than what you deserve. What, what you're, what the big picture, what the big goal is for yourself in love, in work, in your personal relationships with your friends. Like don't take second best. 
You're not working this hard just to settle for second best in any area of your life. And the dolphin is also an animal that is extremely intuitive. Dolphins are one of the most psychic sea creatures that exist. So this is also the big picture about your intuition. Don't get caught up in like the little mouse traps, mouse traps, right? You are not a mouse. You're not going to get tripped over by like little pieces of cheese. So like, again, use your intuition. And it's so interesting that it's like you go from this fish intuitive to this big ass dolphin. So again, that through this process, not only is it growing your resilience, um, your faith, your ability to maintain balance, but also in your trust in God in the universe it's the cause and effect like i got a word i got a piece of guidance i'm hearing it from my inner self and i'm going forward and nothing's gonna stop me and then when what comes to pass does which was told to you before you're like i knew it i knew god's not a liar i knew god is faithful i knew i could trust my angels i knew i could trust myself i'm glad i didn't let you guys slow me down because you have the raccoon underneath that oh with the lamb that's so interesting that you know that this is a very like sweet it's very innocent, but it also is very naive that people might see you this way, Sag, like a little bit naive, like a little sweet, almost like easily messed with or, uh, or uh, manipulated or, or compromised. But in reality, like you are this raccoon, which talks about adaptability and resourcefulness. And this also is actually really beautiful. Thank you. That it's talking about the duality of you, that you can be really resourceful. Like you can roll with the punches. You can be adaptable. You can lean with it, rock with it, flip it and reverse it. But at the same time, you can still maintain your sweetness. This is like an inner child sort of energy. Like that hope, like, wow, look at the moon. I know everything's going to be all right. Like I know God's got my back. Everything's going to be fine. Forget you guys. I don't care if you want to play with me. I'll go play by myself. That's just fine. Right? Which is a little bit like I was saying right here at the top of your your reading and it's a matter of perspective of not letting these things harden you right so a lot of this might be energetic sag because with the bat out and i just saw the crocodile pop up um this kind of represents the moon card so this is are things that are not readily seen and bats use like echolocation, like like sonar, solar, radar, that there is a sense that um people could just be like projecting onto you without you realizing it because energy, you know, it's physics. Energy never dies. It just converts into different things. So it could be something that you could be sharing some of the plans you're making online and someone could see it and then just be like, ugh. And then energetically, it's like a ripple effect and it reaches you. And next thing you know, your car won't start. Like just some like silly nonsense like that. So th this might, it feels very energetic, to be honest, um, regardless of where it's coming from. But again, intuition, intuition, like, you know, you know what time it is, Sag. So just stay focused, stay calm. Don't let, not, you know, nothing can keep God's promises from you. So just locked and loaded, hustle, flow big shiny moon. Okay. All right. I love you guys. I'm going to go around the Patreon. I'm going to keep pulling cards for you. Probably going to pull for more of the tarot deck. Cause I want to refine this. I want to get a little, I want to get into details a little bit. I'm feeling nosy. Um, but I love you guys. So the link for the Patreon with all the extended readings, the February monthlies, all that is going to be in the description box with my email for personal readings, all the decks that I use on the channel and my social media links in case you want to find me on Instagram and Twitter. I love you guys very much. Thank you for being here with me. You're so good to me and I adore you. Um, and as always, bees, stay prayed up, stay blessed, stay sweet, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.